So in this video, I'll tell you all about what the cabins are like. Is there enough room for six people? Why you should stay there? Why you potentially shouldn't stay there? What you get for breakfast if you have a meal plan? And also the distance to and from the parks depends on whether you're staying in a standard cabin or a premier cabin. We've just got back from a fabulous trip to Disneyland Paris and stayed at the David Crockett Ranch for the very first time. We stayed in a premier cabin and there was quite a lot of space, both indoors and outdoors. Each cabin has a dedicated parking space for one car, situated just in front of the cabin. As you walk up to the door to your cabin, you do have some decking outside and a picnic table and also an area where you can have a barbecue if you wanted to and weather dependent, which is a really nice add-on which you won't get in a hotel at Disneyland Paris and this is because all of the cabins are self-catering. As you enter the cabin you're greeted by a mini kitchen area which has everything that you need. You have a hob, a dishwasher, a sink, a fridge freezer, loads of cupboard space and they also provide you with cups, plates, glasses, cutlery, pots, pans, anything you can think of. It's a lovely little kitchen which will see you through your time at Disneyland Paris. The lounge and dining room area has a sofa big enough for five people and a TV in the main room. There is also a large dining table with plenty of room for everybody to sit down and enjoy a meal together. There's also a nice little vanity unit in there with a large mirror which I used every day because the lighting was brilliant with a one wall of windows and your patio door so you can look out and enjoy the nature but also provides fabulous lighting if you're doing your makeup. There's also a really tall storage unit which holds your ironing board so if you wanted to do a little bit of ironing while you're there um, it's stored in there. Air cabin had two rooms and the first room was the master bedroom which had a really nice large double bed and lots of storage around the bed and and also a wardrobe and including the safe. And just off our room was also an ensuite, quite a large ensuite with a nice shower, toilet and sink. Also underneath the bed, there is enough room to fit quite a few large suitcases and we crammed them all under our bed. So they weren't taking up any space in the cabin and it allowed us to unpack and just store the suitcases away for the week. The second bedroom in our cabin was opposite to the master bedroom and through the kitchen and dining room area and had three single beds. One of the single beds also had a pull out bed underneath so you could fit four people in that bedroom if needed. It had two large windows and was situated at the front of the cabin and had plenty of natural light for our children to play when we got back to the cabin just to take a little bit of a rest so they could play with all of the merch that they had brought that day. Also situated just off that bedroom is the main bathroom, has a separate toilet area to the bathroom area and within the main bathroom there is a large shower and sink and quite a spacious bathroom and then opposite to that is your toilet. So really handy for that second bedroom so you can keep the ensuite for the master bedroom. As a family of five we found that there was plenty of space for all of us to fit in and not feel cramped at all and to be able to go off and do our own little things within the cabin or just outside as and when we went back to the cabin. The Davy Crockett Ranch is brilliant if you are on a budget or you're driving there or just want somewhere to say that's slightly off site but still part of the Disney bubble is perfect for that. You are out in the middle of nature, the grounds itself are beautiful and really picturesque and just a really nice change from staying in a normal hotel at Disneyland Paris. As I said it's really handy if you are going to be driving to Disneyland Paris to have the option to stay at the David Crockett Ranch. You are only able to stay at the David Crockett Ranch if you are driving and have access to a car as there is no shuttle service to and from the park. So it does require you to drive there and back. You probably wouldn't want to stay at the David Crockett Ranch if you wanted to be a little bit closer to the parks and to be able to have access to either walking there or using the Disney shuttle, or you don't have access to a car. Apart from that, I see no other reason why you wouldn't want to stay at the David Crockett Ranch. When we were there last week, we did also have a half board option meal plan, which was really handy for us as it gave us the option of having breakfast at the ranch. And they also give you plenty to eat. So each morning, Steve will go out and collect our breakfast for us from one of the designated cabins, which are situated within each section within the park. But we had to go to one of the cabins in the opposite area to a sweet stayed in Tomahawk, and we had to go across to the opposite area to collect our breakfast. But it was literally just across the road and didn't take it much time. Time at all. Just check your meal pass with you and they'll hand it across. And they give you loads to eat. So per person, you have the option of having either a croissant, pan au chocolat, or a little mini box of cereal. So there was cocoa bops on offer and our kids love those. And then as a family of five, within the bag, we also had a bottle of milk. You also got a box. And within that box, there were jams, butters, and Nutella, and loads of choice in there. You also have some tea or coffee or hot chocolate, which you can choose from. And we switched 
switched each day. Each person has quite a large bread roll, fruit salad in a pot, and then you also have a choice of a carton of orange juice or a carton of apple juice each. So overall, you did have quite a lot in your little bag each morning for breakfast, which was really nice. And then, as I said, Steve brought it back to the cabin and we could all get ready and eat our breakfast in our own space and not feel rushed. It was just a really nice touch for the Dairy Crockett Ranch. As I said at the beginning, we stayed in a premier cabin, so we paid the extra money just to be a little bit closer to the amenities at David Crockett Ranch and also a little bit closer to the park. So each morning, it took us roughly 10, 12 minutes to get to and from the park, which wasn't too bad, and the roads were clear. And we got there early every morning to enjoy Magic Hour in plenty of time. Standard cabins are situated a little bit further away, still within the ranch, but a little bit further away from the main reception and amenities, so you have a slightly longer drive, but it is literally a couple of minutes added not a lot at all so also consider a standard cabin if you didn't want a premier one if you have an upcoming trip booked and you're staying at the david crockett wench and you have any questions please drop them in the comments below as i'd love to help i will also pop some links below as it is your cheapest option if you wanted to stay on site at disneyland paris as always i hope you found this video useful please consider subscribing and i'll see you again soon